compression fittings in. How tight should I do them up with the spanners? I always worry about over tightening it and often the other thing, is it tight enough? Is it going to ping off when the mains water pressure comes on it because I haven't done it tight enough? So we're going to look at this one now. Now if I undo this side of the pipe you'll see I've got my olive there on. Okay there we be. And obviously we slide it on there and push it into our fitting. Goes in about 15 millimeters or so and do it up. Now I'll take this side out for now. Okay. Put it over there. Okay. How tight we're going to do this? Now this is the easy bit in a sense because we can really hold tight with this with a, another spanner. So I generally, when I'm doing that, I use footprints. Uh, you can use these type of grips as well, nice and thin to get a hold on there. Uh, and also you can use mole grips. Now this is the kind of hold against while you're tying it up. Now what I'll do, I'll clamp on the moles first just to show you with the mole grips. So mole grips, get a pipe in there, we want to clamp it onto there like so. So we could literally clamp it on, we've got to get it about right, just get this texture about right so you can feel it start to grip and then you'll hear it sort of go over clink and it goes, there you go. It's got a hold of it now, it's a nice tight firm grip uh, for using on these fittings so they're kind of clever really. Now always get them around the right way because that nut has got to go that way these are actually around the wrong way so you know if you're using my grips hold it against the way it's got to go which would be this particular way okay on there and the span is going to go down like that okay so we move on that's some old grips we also have obviously my tried and trusted footprints which I always like and they go on there like so okay and leave enough room for the thread to go up so that that would be that way as you can see uh, span on there and down like this and lastly the one that i use quite a lot are these uh, nice little thin grips now these are going to be handy in a minute and i'll show you for why so once again you clamp that over the nut part okay don't ever put it on the threaded part okay <laughs> Don't want to ruin the thread when you do up the other side. And then once again, spanner on here and tighten it up. So let's get to the nitty gritty. How tight shall I actually do it? Right, I'm going to show you now. Right, well, I'm going to use my usual footprints that I love the most. So we get these on here, on the, the mid in the middle, not the thread. Okay, you can see that there. Make sure we've got enough room for the nut to go up. You don't want it too far down this way when you do it up. Okay, make sure your pipe's in there and hold it nice and tight. Now, here we go with the spanner. So I like to use this little stubby one. Uh, you can feel when it kind of stops on this, and I'll show you. But you can use open-ended spanner, the right size. But you always remember the handle's always longer. And if you're using a longer spanner, don't forget that you'll get more leverage on it. So it may not need quite the amount of tightening you think. We're doing this with no boss wire on it, no stuff like that, no... Uh, tape or anything else because it's recommended by the manufacturers you just do it up with nothing uh, and they should be fine so spanner on okay and um, we're going to give it a different twist like that there's, there's one bit down to there now that's gripped it okay just doing that little bit but we'll give it a last little pinch now and that will be it so that bit there is it okay that is dead tight that is exactly it. So the good thing with compression fittings that is that you can always, if it's not quite tight, it's got a little tiny weight, we can just give it a bit squeak more. So how about the other end then? So we're going to put this end on to join our copper pipe up. Here's our copper pipe, our olive. We're going to go in this end now. So things are a little bit more complicated now because we've only got that little bit in the middle there to grip. This is where I think these come in handy because they're thin enough to get in there like so. So they're, they're on there like that and they're not going to get in the way of the thread okay? as you do it up. Now if you hold it on that bottom nut there on your spanner while you're doing it up, it will hold it but you'll probably find it might just tighten that one a bit more, a bit too much as you get to the end. So it's always best not to 
do it that way round. Okay, don't hold the nut, hold it in the middle there, all the, always on that bit there when you do the other one. So let's do the other one then. Uh, and as I say, it's fairly simple. Once again, uh, I'm going to use these, as I say, on there, in the middle of the part there, get it on. So this thread is clear to do up. Get our spanner again, and we're going to show you here how much to do this up by. So let me show you. So here we go, and that much. Okay, that's our first bite. It's got hold of it. You can tell it's not much. And then the second bite. That's it. And that is tight as you're going to need. It's pretty sound that will be. As I say, and the good thing is if you did get a tiny weight under a lot of pressure, you can always give it a touch more. And that is how much to tighten up a coupling. So do bear in mind, I'm using a little short stubby, so I've got not as, quite so much pressure as a long spanner would give you. So it's very easy to over tighten because you've got a lot more leverage involved. Okay, but if you can generally feel it. It's hard to describe, but you can feel it come to a stop. It kind of, more or less, there's no more left easily that you can pull it you can with a longer span as i say keep going you know but you would over tighten it once you feel that pinch and then to that last little nip again uh, that is it it will be fine so that basically simple little video for you there and it's just how much to tighten up a compression fitting okay thanks very much for watching see you next time guys bye bye